Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinkers Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and this video is a further installment in the video series. Welcome to Layla Q, otherwise known as Layla Quantum Tech and Quantum Upgrade. This is a video FAQ series answering questions that frequently pop up in our Telegram chat group. So one of the questions I wanted to address, which I actually addressed a couple of years ago, which is, you know, like how does quantum energy affect plants? Can I use it for my plants? Blah, 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 plants, 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 right? So I actually did a video about almost two years ago called Quantum Garden, and I wanted to just basically add that video. So this is a replay, repost, whatever you want to call it, of a video that I did uh, back in March of 2023. It's called The Quantum Garden. I'm just going to go ahead and play it right now because I wanted to add this video as uh, one of the answers to the FAQ series. So if you've already seen the video, you're good to go. For anyone who's new to quantum energy and would like to know how quantum energy can be used for agriculture as well as your plants, your garden, your yard, your field, then this is the video for you. So anyway, thanks for watching and here's the quantum garden. Aloha everyone and welcome to another Tinkers Academy video. I'm your host Kay Elmer and in this video I'd like to share with you the stories, the testimonies and, and the results of what people have been experiencing using quantum energy to help their garden thrive, help their plants that they're growing. Now this video applies to anybody who's interested in growing. If you have a garden or if you're a, you know you have crops, agriculture, landscapers and so forth because this is what people, real life stories are experiencing when they take these quantum tools primarily provided by Layla Quantum Tech you know these these quantum blocks that they sell and when they use these tools with regards to plants these are the stories that are coming out from them and they're very I mean really quite amazing as to what quantum energy the impact of that has on plant growth and so forth so these are actually I grabbed as many pictures as, as I could from the chat history on telegram plus pictures that people have sent me in terms of like what their experiments are which I, which is great I love the fact that you guys are out there tinkering I've been tinkering Philip tinkers with you know just like what what else can this do uh, you know in terms of like how to basically improve stuff and one of those things is your garden so now the first thing I want to kind of leverage is that you know it's you know it's not magic right it's it's one facet of multitude of things that, that actually help a plant thrive so your basic stuff obviously for plant thriving is it needs sunlight it needs water uh, it needs air it you know especially co2 uh, and it also needs nutrients in the soil so that's your basic you know stuff that a plant needs to thrive and that's what i would refer to on the left diagram here is your biochemical stuff right it's the biochemical the biophotons the water you know it's what the plant needs just as a baseline that's par for the course right and then there's another kind of you know area of study uh, that also goes into the electromagnetic aspects of plant growth and that's called electroculture which actually would be a whole separate video all by itself and and i'll probably end up doing one someday <laughs> but what i'd like to talk about is this third this third little bubble right there and that's the fact that there's the third component so not only does a living thing have this whole biochemical thing going on and also a tr tremendous amount of electromagnetic stuff going on in terms of its health and wellness and well-being and all that but there's also this energy component and you know that energy in this regards to this video we're calling quantum uh, but you know you talk to different people it, you could other people will call it ether chi prana mana or you know just a bunch of different names for what this energy is but it's that life that's basically that's that energy that permeates all of our you know existence and it's all around us and so when these tools interact with that energy and they actually generate that energy then some pretty amazing things happen so let's jump right in to some of the results that people have been reporting the very first thing uh, that people have shared is that you know, and I've done this myself and so this is so these are pictures that are coming either through telegram or sent to me or my own pictures but the idea here is this is an example you see where um, someone had the picture shows or someone had charged the seeds planted the seeds the left are just you know they didn't do anything with the seeds they just got them planted them and then the one on the right is they planted they, they charged the seeds in a quantum block before they planted them and you can see what it looks like within a few weeks the amazing amount of growth and, and, the, and the lusciousness of, of just the plants that the sprouts that are as they're growing and now I did my own experiment and I got to apologize I don't have photos of it uh, I lost the video and the photos of this experiment I did over a summer I think in 2019 
Uh, it's one of those weird things. Uh, if you know, if you live in Hawaii and you have and you half a mile from the ocean, you deal with a lot of electronic problems because of the salt air. So I had a year where I lost three laptops in one year. So I lost everything that year. So I don't have the photos, but I do have the story. And what I did was was I took some heirloom seeds. So I bought heirloom seeds off of Amazon and I broke them into you know two parts, right? Two halves. One half I charged, one half I did not charge, and I sent them off to three different friends on the mainland. Uh, and I asked them, hey, plant them, tell me what happens. And so what happened was, was they all did it. They all planted uh, the non-charged seeds and they planted the charged seeds. And then what they did was they reported back to me that all of them experienced, first of all, all of them experienced, all three of them and myself, we all experienced the exact same results. The plants that had grown from the charged seeds sprouted faster and they produced more. And roughly, and roughly by a third of the plant's life cycle compared to the control group. In other words, they grew faster, more luscious, and produced beans or whatever they're, you know, tomatoes, whatever they're producing. They produced them faster uh, than than the plants, than the seeds that were not charged. Uh, and so that was a pretty amazing. So that's four of us doing this in different parts of the country, and we all had the exact same results. So there is something quite interesting about applying quantum energy. To seeds and I you know again this is a, the tinker channel so I encourage all of you to go and just tinker with that you know it's planting season so give it a try uh, do your own experiments but the idea here is if you impart quantum energy into those seeds that plant is going to thrive much more than if it didn't get that quantum energy from the experiments that we've done now we also back in the day I mean I know this was probably years ago we had an individual who was a microgreen farmer and so they decided to go ahead and charge one set of seeds and one set you know not and so they did the same experiment and they then they shared their pictures with me and so the one on the left is non-charged the one on the right is charged seeds and so basically when it was time for them to harvest i guess it's that that i don't do micro farming but i guess is that it looks like wheat grass you know you, they make juice out of it or something sorry that's not my thing uh, but they basically showed the pictures of what it looked like when they were about to harvest it so you can just see from the pictures over here on the left that you know the ones that were charged which is way more growth way more lusciousness you know thrive but then when he what he was interested in was the root mat he was like yeah the root mat look at the root mat the root map uh, on, on both of these examples, if you take a look at the one on the left right here, this was the non-charge, but if you look at the right, he was amazed because in all of the time he'd been micro farming uh, greens that you know he had never seen such a dense uh, you know root map uh, on, on, on his you know on his produce that he'd ever created. And that apparently in that world is that's a really good sign. Uh, of health and and you know obviously improve the produce that he's selling as well so I, we found you know that was a real interesting uh, experiment that happened as well with regards to charging seeds so that kind of gives you an idea you know that hey this is really happening and this is pretty cool uh, and you know what could you do if you tried it now the next one here is people that actually go out and actually charge plants and mostly it's people who have plants that are not doing well and they'll go out and you'll see that you know here's someone with an infinity block they put it on their plant these are all from our telegram chat group by the way uh, and here's another plant where someone put a quantum block around the plant and then here's me right here um, I just was tinkering around and I got a plant for Easter last year and I just put it between my my infinity block plates but the whole idea here is the idea of like okay just instead of the seeds how about do we just charge the plant now the one funny thing about it is that people do this, but you guys, you always forget to put the after picture. But you, but they do post after that, hey, it, you know, it got better. Three days later, it's it's doing better. The leaves are full now. They're not all wilted and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, there, but not, yeah, there's not enough after pictures. But we do have one example, and this is Philip himself. Philip von Holzendorf is the uh, my friend, and he's also the owner-operator of Leila Quantum Tech. But he did one where he had a house plant on the left. And this house plant was not doing well. As you could see, the plant was yellow and the leaves were dying. And so what he did was he charged his plant with one of his blocks. And then a few months later, look at this plant. It is just luscious and green and healthy and vibrant just by just by charging the whole plant, you know, as a in a container. So that's that's another way of doing it. So you can either like, you know, uh, if it's in the ground, you can charge it above ground. Uh, if it's in a container, obviously you'd want to put the whole container in there. And then look at what the results are. You infuse that little plant with just this quantum energy and just it boosts its life cycle and boom, all of a sudden, you know, the problem kind of just alleviates. And so that's pretty cool uh, what happened here with, with sickly plants and that sort of thing. 
Now, the next one here that also has been quite remarkable is the idea of quantum broadcasting. Now, for those of you who own blocks and you've seen the tutorials that Philip and I have made, you know, the quantum block is 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 a concentrated quantum sun. It's just this real concentrated quantum energy that literally has the ability to charge other things, i.e. that's what it's doing, right? Charging plants, charging seeds. And then so this block radiates out energy in a field. And depending on which block you have, the field is, you know, is a certain size. And then some, some of, right now there's the one called the grand block and it covers like two, uh, two kilometers, there's an infinity block, one that's one kilometer in terms of the field, the diameter of the energy field. So in this example here, uh, in this garden, someone posted a picture of their infinity block in the middle of their garden, which means that everything around that block within literally a kilometer, uh, and then most, and then of course it's most more and more and more concentrated clo the closer you get to the center of the block. Right, so even though the field goes out a kilometer, you know, when you're that close to the block, you're getting a lot more concentrated quantum energy closer to the block. So he put it in the middle of this of his of their uh, of their garden in order to then give the plants all that quantum energy through the field that it's projecting. Okay, so I call that quantum broadcasting, and, I, and I'll tell you why in a second. But the idea here is you can actually then just you know give all your plants quantum energy just by plant you know by putting your block out there but here's what's interesting and here's another example someone posted of using their travel block and they put it out there in their garden with their plants but here's the thing that's really interesting and here's a picture of philip uh at layla quantum tech and now he did that in a greenhouse and then philip's story is you know he'd had a greenhouse going for quite a while and then when he finally developed the quant uh, infinity block i think about a year and a half ago he decided to put the infinity block in his garden and for the first time ever, these are the zucchinis that came from that experiment or that tank. Uh, and so you could he's pretty grinning ear to ear. He grew these. This is like a never had happened before until he actually put the infinity block in his greenhouse. And then all of a sudden, he's got elephant-sized zucchinis coming out the wazoo. Uh, and, he, and so he shared this picture on Telegram, and it's really quite hilarious because these are literally the size of your leg. He's probably bigger than a small kid at that point. He's definitely bigger than his dog. <laughs> but you could just imagine, I mean, just the, the amount of that life force energy, that quantum energy going into those plants 24 hours a day by simply you know, putting that infinity block in the garden uh, had this incredible effect on growth. Uh, and, 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 you know, and the produce that the plants produce. So there's something pretty wild happening here uh, with regards to quantum gardening, you know. So uh, definitely encouraged. So think about that, charging sick plants, seeds, and so forth. And here's a couple more examples. Uh, now, another way to do it, aside from seeds and plants and broadcasting, is the water. So quantum charged water, we've discovered, has a remarkable effect on plants. And the very, the simplest thing, and, and everybody who gets a block, you should do this if you have anyone in your family that's like, you know, skeptical about like, what, what did you buy? And then, oh, you know, why did you buy that? Hey, no problem, simple. Go to the grocery store, get a couple of flowers, you know, the same bunch of flowers, and then take them in two different glasses, two different vases, charge the water you give one, and don't charge the water for the other one. And here's an example that's literally, this was posted on Telegram by one of our members. They charged the water um, and one plant, one flower didn't get, you know, no quantum energy. One plant got the quantum energy water and then look what happened after five days. The one that didn't get just regular old water, the same water now, it's just, you know, one got charged, one didn't. So the regular water, it's just, the, you know, obviously your cut flowers, everybody knows, they all start to wilt and die, and within a week you throw them away. But try to imagine five days later and the cut flower in the quantum charged water is thriving. It's just happy and it looks as good as the day it was chopped out, you know. And so anyone can do this experiment and the results are 100% the same every time. This is just one picture of many. And I've done this, and, and everyone I know that has tinkers around with this has tried this and went, wow, that, that works, you know? And it's one way to show, hey, you know what? Quantum energy is real, something's happening. Nobody can really explain exactly the, you know, the, the physics of it or the biochemistry of it, but it's happening. Here are the, here's the results. And so the water has this incredible effect when you charge it on plants. And so that is definitely one thing. One other thing you could do for your quantum garden on top of you know the other things that I've mentioned is charge the water that you give your plants, and so kind of you know like and just in a, in a summary here, 
because that's what we're getting. And I wanted to share that with you because it's really exciting. It's spring, okay? It's spring. Thank God. <laughs> I'm so happy it's spring. Uh, and so I'm, I'm starting my garden. I know you are starting your garden. So now this year, okay, if you got a block, please use that block and tell us your story. What happened and what did you do? You know, share because this is so, you know, we all learn from each other. So here's my last parting thoughts on, on, you know, using quantum energy in your garden. So we talked about, you know, charging sp seeds and sprouts, uh, charging plants. Now, another thing about charging trees now is one time somebody reported that they, they they took the plates off of their block and they put their blocks on either side of a tree trunk i mean you know like a big tree right it was a fruit bearing tree they put their plates on either side of the trunk i mean it's a big tree so but but just doing that that's all they did and they just left it there for a few hours right and then they took the plates away well what happened was that one tree there were multiple trees that produced the same amount the same type of fruit but the one tree that got charged, and they did it early in the year, right before they, you know, the flowers come and then the fruit comes, right? And they did it early in the year. And what happened was the one tree that got charged flowered first, produced fruit first, produced more fruit than the other trees, and was done like like way earlier than the other trees were doing. The other trees, you know, were just like way behind like a month behind this first tree in terms of flowering fruiting and producing more and even when the regular trees actually got to the point where they were fruiting they only produced their normal amount of fruit that they did every year but the one that was charged produced twice as much fruit and that was like wow that was an amazing story so you can charge trees just separate the plates of your block and put it on both sides of the trunk and leave it there for a few hours okay we talked about charging water now i want to say that there's been a lot of discussion about how do I charge water for a garden? You know, like how do I get, you know, how, because here's the thing, guys, and you know from the tutorials that you need to charge, sorry, you need to charge the water for about three minutes in an infinity block, and blah, 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 right? And so, but, but it so it needs to sit there. And so, how do you charge, you know, like let's say, you know, water out of the hose? Uh, and so forth so it's definitely a challenge and I know that Philip's gonna watch this video so Philip when you when you watch this video I think that's one of the probably the challenges the next challenge for Layla is like how do you develop agricultural or garden products how do we develop something that can charge water in bulk you know that you would use and so we've had some thoughts you know there's been I just want to throw some thoughts out where you know using uh, you know those metal hoses uh, and charging the whole entire hose and if the water from one end to the other end takes three minutes to get through then that would be one way that the water would be subjected to the energy for at least three minutes um, other ways would be charging a rain barrel of water at a time you know with a with a block uh, but yeah that's probably the one thing for you know for in gardens that was probably that is probably the still the biggest challenge out there is like well you know how do we do that and i haven't figured it out either i was thinking you could use metallic tape like the they make copper tape they make aluminum tape and then charge the tape and then wrap that around my garden hose uh and that sort of thing uh because i do container gardening uh but if i were to actually have like raised beds and things the challenge with providing charged water again is it needs to be still it needs to be exposed right so you have to basically sit it still for three minutes inside of a block inside of the field of a block so that's that's probably the biggest challenge here in terms of charging stuff if it's just container gardening you know it's a lot easier right you can just put your container of water charge that water and then feed it to your plants but if you're using hoses uh, and irrigation then you know we haven't solved that challenge yet but that's i i challenge all you tinkers in the world Figure out a way where we can impart quantum energy into moving water <laughs> so that it gets that whole three minutes before it gets to the plants and, and you know that'll and then share that with the group. So keep thinking, guys, keep tinkering, we'll figure that one out. Now, another story that came out of the Telegram chat group is with uh, individuals. Now, this has happened more than once. I've actually tried this myself, is charging rocks and charging crystals. Um, and, then, and then putting them around the base of trees and plants and, and, and so forth. And that, that has, and then the reports back on those people who've tried that is like all positive. Like I charged a bunch of rocks and I put them around my tree or, you know, like I have, I have landscaping rocks. So I put them in the block and then I put them back. And just the plants around those rocks 
thrive. I mean, they just, just, just go crazy next to the ones that didn't have charged rocks. And I've done the same thing with container gardening where I'll take a selenite. Uh, if you know selenite, it, it's long, right? It grows in really long crystals. And I'll take like a bunch of like selenite, I don't know what they call it, like selenite sticks or something, you know? Uh, and I charged a bunch of them and I would just stick one selenite uh, stick, okay, uh, in a container with the plant. And the ones that I did that with, the plant just, you know, thrived. And the ones I didn't do were just normal. I mean, normal is not bad, by the way, right, obviously. Normal is normal. But if you, you know, but you can take it past normal and you can really get this plant to go, woo, and, and you know, by adding some of these, uh, you know, this quantum energy to it. Now, the other one, too, that I want to talk about is wire mesh. And so one thing that I saw someone doing, and I thought that was a great idea, you can buy wire mesh right and then you could charge the mesh in your block and then wrap that around uh like a like a uh, uh you know like a you know, you know if you did a raised bed you could wrap that mesh around the bed right which is one or you could wrap that around a container and that way you've got a if you have a charged item or charged metal in you know wrapped around a raised bed then that whole bed is getting quantum energy uh from that mesh so that's one way to do it uh, aside from you know like just quantum broadcasting and so forth so that's something to think about now the other thing um that i want to mention too that has worked really well is using frequencies and so we had an early adopter and and i just you know and his name was jack newell uh he's no longer with us you know god bless him uh but w when he was tinkering around in the early days along with myself and a bunch of others he discovered where he took the frequency of plant food um, and he basically had a house full of plants and that weren't doing really well and so what he did was he you know he had a block so he made um, capsules you know the, the little you know the little brass capsules with the spheres in them he, he got the supplies and he made his own except what he did was he charged all those capsules with plant food frequency in his block so he just would copy the frequency of plant food onto the capsule load them up with charged spheres and then he took one capsule and he put it inside the container of all of his house plants and his report back was whoa they turned around they all went from being sickly and not healthy and weak to strong stems they were sturdy and luscious and and vibrant and he was like yeah it worked you know and so so just like my experiment with the crystal or the selenite sticks other people using rocks you know his uh he was using a frequency oh you know because and which i tried that and hey guess what it works so you know think about the idea that you can transfer the frequency of plant food on you know to your plant to give it nutrients or give it the frequency of nutrients uh just like the you know the heel capsule has the you know the neutral biobase uh the men's and women's booster have tons of supplements in them but you can also use those molecular uh, you know frequencies of plant food and plant nutrients and you could broadcast that into the plants themselves to give them a further boost energy plus frequency uh and then you could do it in in many different ways but you know you don't have to do it with the uh, you don't have to do it with those capsule. By the way, there's another way to do it. You can actually broadcast that frequency. So if you had a block in the middle of your garden, and you wanted to then, okay, I'm gonna, I want to do more than just frequency, right? I mean, more than just energy. Right here's an infinity block. Then what I would take is literally just a little cup of plant food, and I'd put it inside the infinity block, and that frequency of that plant food is going to go throughout your garden. And note that if you live near that and you live, of course, there, you know, that plant food's going to be in the, in the field that you're in as well. But just, re, just remember that the body takes what it needs and so forth. So it's not detrimental. I think it's a very positive thing. And all of your plants would benefit from that, that those nutrients being, you know, broadcast into the field of the, of the block. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, and this is the one thing that has not, ha has not really been tried yet. There's only been one report in the telegram chat group of somebody tinkering around with pest control but it wasn't for plants it was for themselves and and basically if you if you go and look this up in the in the chat somebody wanted to see if they could figure out you know to create a, a, a quantum card that would repel mosquitoes and so they used something uh, I forgot what they used but they copied that frequency onto a card and then they came back and said hey it works and it worked the mosquitoes would not go near this lady uh, when she was wearing this card that was charged with the frequency of some kind of mosquito repellent so there you go that's one example of, hey, guess what? Frequencies and quantum energy work to do pest control. Now, as it relates to plants, 
here's an example here. Now, if you happen to know of a guy named Hugh Lovell, uh, and he's the, uh, the father of biodynamic farming. In one of his practices, and he had multiple different aspects to biodynamic farming, but one of them is using something he calls or he created called the quantum field broadcaster. And this is what it looks like here uh, with this guy standing next to it. And so, you know, if anyone's interested in it, I could share the schematics of this thing and how to build it. But the idea, though, is he built a device that ties into the quantum energy by tying earth and sky together through this pipe. There's wires inside and crystals inside of it. But he built this thing and it actually captures the the quantum energy and then broadcasts it out and this nine and a half foot broadcaster will cover 2,000 acres so it's really cool what this thing does however what one of my point is for pest control this is what he uses for biodynamic pest control and that little thing that that guy's touching it's like a little shelf and all you do is you put something in there that's a repellent and it then will broadcast through that through the quantum field of the of the 2,000 acres, and then it'll then permeate that field with that frequency. So not only can you send out nutrients, you could send out stuff for pest control. So if anyone's interested, I you know, and this is another really interesting thing I discovered, which was on YouTube. I want to, I wanted to go see, you know, I wanted to see testimonies about quantum field broadcasters, uh, people using Hugh Lovell's you know uh, device. And only there's only one video on all of YouTube with this old guy. And you know, I uh, I, I trust a guy who's you know an old guy, all crusty, uh, you know, uh, with lots of dirt under his fingernails. I'll trust that guy over anyone in a suit, right? And so here's this guy. He's sitting at a table talking to his friends, and he's just John, and he's talking about his field broadcaster and, and what he what he experienced with it. And so just as here's the testimony of this guy, and you can go look this up. I'll, I'll put a link in it, a uh, link to his, his video in, in the description here. But what he did was he had a problem with rabbits, uh, you know, and, and I'm, you know, I'm sure you probably have problems with rabbits. Uh, I have problems with birds and bugs, you know, in my garden, uh, but he had a problem with rabbits and deer. And so what he did was he took some deer fur with coyote urine on it and he put it into the broadcaster right here, like right this little spot. And then that frequency of the coyote urine permeated throughout the field and guess what he says in his testimony didn't see another rabbit ever no more rabbits no more deer they never came near his field again because why because they those animals you know they're all you know, everybody's part everything alive is a part of the quantum field well guess what they sense that presence the quantum presence of coyote and they would not come near his field ever again. And then in that same video, he talks about this invasive slug um, that you know that was eating up his garden or his vegetables and his uh, crops. And he also did something. He didn't say like I, I could. You can't hear what he says in the video. But this this old guy basically says, "Yeah, uh, I put the, something you know in the quantum field broadcaster." to repel those slugs, but I didn't want to get rid of the natural slugs because the natural local slugs to my area are beneficial to the symbiotic relationship of the, you know, of, of the nature there. He didn't want to mess with the indigenous slugs, but he needed to get rid of this invasive slug. So he found something that would repel those slugs, but not the local slugs. And he put that in his quantum field broadcaster. Guess what? No more slugs. No more invasive slugs. But the regular old slugs were happy as clams and just you know crawling around. But the but the the invasive ones were gone. They never saw them again. So between the lady with the mosquito card and the testimonies of the quantum field broadcaster. And by the way, if you do if you do uh, research on Hugh Lovell uh, and biodynamic farming, there's many 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 testimonies about using quantum. Uh, as part of biodynamic farming, uh, in you know, in terms of just getting very positive results as well uh, with regards to thriving plants and etc. So you know, it's interesting uh, amount of work. So I definitely would recommend anyone to, interested in gardening and growing uh, take a look at the, what that guy has done. But I digress. Let me get back to quantum energy in your garden. So that's the other thing that no one's really quite tried yet. So I think that I challenge all of you for this growing season. You know, see what you can do for pest control and report back. Uh, you know, see what you can do with, you know, broadcasting and charging and water. And, you know, I just want to hear from all of you because, you know, we're all a community and we all learn from each other. The videos that I do are to share with you what's, you know, what we've experienced. And of course, you know, Telegram is not conducive towards, 
you know, learning what people have said in the past because, you know, it just keeps scrolling up and up and up, right? So that's what these videos are for. This is like, hey, this is what a whole bunch of other people have been doing. And, and this is what they've been posting because I know you missed it because you just joined last month or whatever, right? But this is it. You know, you can have a quantum garden and your garden's going to just thrive and do so much better. Just use quantum energy. And, and see what happens. And you know what? Based on everything that people have been reporting, it's going to be nothing but positive results. And that's what's really so cool about quantum energy. It's such a positive thing. So lastly, I'm going to wrap this up with something I found in the research for this video that I thought was pretty amazing. Now, I don't think that these guys, you know, I'm talking about commercialization. So when it comes down to like, hey, does this work or does this not work? I'm going to tell you that, yeah, it works. I just showed you all the pictures. It works. There's something really cool going on here about using quantum energy with gardening, farming, landscaping, etc. But, you know, hey, is it so cool that you could commercialize it for you tinkers who are not just tinkers, but your entrepreneurial tinkers? You know, <laughs> for those of you guys out there, guess what? Someone's already beat you to the punch. There's a company out there, and what's really cool is the guys... Uh, if you're into the 660 world, and that's kind of funny, that's how like Philip and I met was in the C60 environment. Uh, and so um, one of the guys in the C60 industry, and the two guys in, in the industry that run Live Longer Labs, they actually created this company because on the side, they're tinkering around with quantum, and which is really kind of serendipitous because it's so funny that they're doing that and then, you know we're doing it too. Uh, but they did it all off on their own, like completely not associated with Layla. And they put together a company a couple of years ago called Wymecla Ag, Wymecla Agriculture. And if you haven't noticed yet, Wymecla is alchemy spelled backwards. And so these guys have kind of, you know, they're not a little bit of humor there. But let me show you their ad on their website and in terms of what they are doing uh, and what they're selling. I mean, you can commercialize this. They're making money at using quantum energy for farming and i think that is fascinating so i just wanted to share with this uh you know share this little video with you to kind of show you what the guys at live longer labs are doing now applying quantum energy uh, to agriculture what if all your growing problems could be solved in a better than organic environment chemical free herbicide free and pesticide free after years of research and development with the leading chemical engineers, physicists, computer scientists, and agricultural leaders, we are proud to introduce Wymecla Eggs, OptQuincy. Today, growers are in a constant battle with nature, having to implement expensive equipment and chemical processes, and that offer minimal results. That day is over. Introducing Wymecla Egg, a new frontier in applied quantum technology. Wymecla Egg not only eradicates nuisances, it also creates a natural protection around your most important investment, your plants. No employees need to stray, no expensive equipment to buy, and no expensive chemicals. Wymecla Ag Management Program is the answer to your problems at a fraction of the price. Our state-of-the-art holistic approach produces healthier and stronger plants. Wymecla Ag is looking to work with business owners who, like us, are passionate about pushing the limits of their business, who appreciate and embrace innovative technology and its ability to unlock untapped new levels of opportunities by utilizing new, never-before-seen technology. Sign up now to discuss becoming part of the exclusive list of Opquency certified growers. Wymecla Ag, a new frontier in applied quantum technology. Partners with Mother Nature. So isn't that cool? I think it's totally cool. They're out there making money with the idea of applying quantum to growing. And so can you, if you're entrepreneurial, or if you're not entrepreneurial, bottom line is, hey, I encourage you to have a quantum garden this year. And if that video and that company doesn't demonstrate, because everything they were saying is exactly what I just covered and what the members of our Telegram chat group, the customers of Layla Quantum Tech are experiencing firsthand. 
we're experiencing what they describe and so they've just commercialized it and i think that is just totally cool that you know the quantum is really starting to uh you know at least get into the mainstream in terms of just commercialization as well as practical usage so i encourage all of you go out and grow your quantum garden this year all right so thank you very much for watching this video i hope this was interesting for you i uh, always appreciate your time i know it you're busy people and you know spending a half an hour with me is, is is a lot to ask so thank you so much thank you for your kind comments if you want to learn more about me uh, I, you can find me at the tinkers academy uh, just type in tinkers.academy at URL window. I also have a, uh, a Telegram chat group myself at the Health and Healing Telegram chat group. And there will also be links below uh, for Layla Quantum Tech as well as the Quantum Power Channel Telegram group. <laughs> It'll all be in the video description below. So if you want to ask any questions of me or Philip, uh, you can reach us there. You can reach me here on the screen. And again, I just want to say thank you for your time today. I hope this was interesting. And you know what? Go out. It's May. It's spring. Start growing stuff. Aloha.